Okay, next one. This is hard. 这是世界上 这是世界上, 这是世界上. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I see you're, you're learning Chinese now. I'm learning to explain the term in Chinese. Yeah. Do you see... Because you already made videos in several languages explaining mm -hmm. how the theremy works. You didn't actually need to learn the language, but you sort of learn phrases and yeah. it learned the sentences uh, in order to explain. How did you start? How did you have this idea? I don't even remember. What was my first language? I, I think it was Japanese. And I love languages. I started to learn so many languages, but I never finished then, of course. And I don't have the time to learn all the languages. So I thought, well, at least I can phrase the sentences with my mouth. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I, Japanese was the first one. And I asked a student of mine if she could translate. It was 40 sentences <laughs> into Japanese. And then also write down the phonetics so I could uh, read it. And she recorded the audio and you know, was speaking one time slow and one time fast for me and then I learned um, I think for two weeks every morning for an hour I sat down with the um, audio and with the text and I just learned every sentence and then in when when I record a video I have a teleprompter where I read the sentences and, I, and then I know the sound already because I learned it from the audio and um, I just love the sound of languages. I, I love all the sounds. And when I, yeah, w when I read this and when I'm able to speak, I don't understand, but it's just the, the melody. It just makes me so happy. Um, yeah. And it feels like, you know, it feels like you can play a piano on the piano really fast without thinking. Like that's, that's what it is. Like that's when you talk yes. in the language you don't understand. Like you just hear the sound and you can say the sentence and it's just like, it's, it's, yeah, it's a flow. So okay. definitely there's a connection of your musical side and the languages you speak. Yes. You see this connection um, happening when you, you're speaking different languages, because I see you speak lots of different languages. Um, besides learning them for videos, you can speak very good English. And of course, you're a native German speaker. You also speak Zorbian yeah. and well, I Swedish as well. Swedish, yeah. So I do speak four languages. Um, and I'm trying to learn the fifth one, um, which is well, Spanish. Spanish so so yeah. I understand a little Spanish, but I, I'm not fluent. Um, I took Hindi in, in college for half a year, just, just because of the fun of it. Um, when I'm in a room and there's people speaking in different languages, that makes me so emotional. I don't know why. It's, I think it's just the sound and the feeling of connection. Like like we are all in we are all singing the same melodies even if everyone is different. Like that's what makes me. Do you emotional. think this influences you when you're composing and uh, creating improvisation for voice and theremin? Do you try to bring this to your music? When I'm learning these phrases in different languages, maybe you know I I try to not only like say the words I'm I'm supposed to say, but also of course the melody of the voice, which is. Um, <laughs> which I hear, right? So in a way, I'm learning the melody of, of, the, of these sentences. So if I learn the melody, then maybe I subconsciously use that melody also in a musical piece. What's next now? After Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I have Italian on my list, uh, oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, for now, Chinese was always my goal. And I thought it's so hard, but it's actually it's easier than Arabic. Yeah, oh. I, like for Arabic, I it took me three weeks to learn the whole thing. Also, I have less sentences now. I was a, uh, took it down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentences. So that's yeah. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>